Hi everyone, my name is Guido, I'm from Melbourne and I just wanted to quickly show you what the noise gate does inside of Logic Pro. I've got a drum kit and a bass line loaded up here. The drum beat is just a loop from Logic and the bass is something I just recorded. Take a listen. Uh, okay, here we are. Now that sounds fine and there's a bit of noise in the background which I can get rid of with a bit of EQ. As you can see here the uh, top end is kind of cut off so that gets rid of the um, the top end kind of noise. Have a listen again and I'll press bypass and you can listen to the difference. So as you can hear that really gets rid of that noise. It still doesn't quite get everything. If I just get that first bar here and I um, mute the drums, you'll be able to hear what I mean. You can still kind of hear that noise in the background. And this is where our noise gate comes in. So I'll just bring that up here. And at the moment I've bypassed it. So have a listen. And I'll turn off the bypass and it just cuts it off completely. Now if I turn the threshold down all the way it does nothing and if I turn it up all the way to the top it cuts everything which is a bit too much. Well especially if I turn up the reduction. still hear the noise. That's pretty good. Okay, let's take a listen to the whole thing. How about with the drums? So even though you can hear that, especially just after the transients finish, um, you can still hear a little bit of noise. It actually disappears inside the mix with the drums and if other instruments are added as well. I think that works pretty well. So that's how you can use a noise gate in Logic to minimize the in-between noises between bass lines especially. Have a listen again. Oh. 